Welcome to Mildura Weekly, and joining me today is Jeff D, CEO of Sunny Tafe Mildura. Jeff, welcome to the studio. Thanks, John. How are you? Very well. Well, firstly, congratulations to you and Sunny Tafe for the prestigious award you were uh, received on Friday night down at uh, Crown Palladium. Can you tell us what that that was for? Uh, certainly, it, uh, and, and yes, it is an exciting time for us. Um, so on Friday night, Sunny Tafe was uh, awarded the uh, Large Training Provider of the Year for Victoria for 2018. Um, and that's recognition of um, the work we've been doing, I guess, over the last two or three years in terms of um, uh, bringing Sunny TAFE closer and closer to the industry and closer and closer to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, the award um, is offered to um, uh, 16 TAFEs in dual sectors across Victoria. And um, Sunny TAFE found out a, a month ago that we'd made it through to the final three. But then uh, on Friday night, of course, found out that we had, in fact, won the award, which was uh, very, very exciting. Mm. Well, I noticed you paid credit to uh, some of the uh, uh, front runners that were, were alongside you. Uh, yeah, yes, that's that's quite true, it's, and and I think that's that's what makes it a little bit special. Sunny uh, Sunny Tafe is the smallest tafe in Victoria, um, and the other two finalists were two of the largest tafes. Um, so so Box Hill, a very large tafe, um, and also um, Swinburne are a large uh, uh, what we call a dual sector university and tafe. Um, but the, uh, the small TAFE in northwest Victoria was able to win the prize, which was especially um, exciting. Yeah, that's great. And of course, talking about training, uh, it's very important the work you're doing here in Mildura uh, with training people for the jobs that are here now and into the future. Very important role. Yeah, yes, John, uh, I agree. And, and, and I think that's probably one of the key changes we've brought to Sunny TAFE in the last couple of years. We've, we've actually reduced the number of courses that we offer people but um, we've been very very careful to make sure the courses that we offer are lined up to where the skills gaps and the industry needs are um, and, and it's quite ironic as a result of having um, less courses we've now actually got more students and more teachers so we've been very careful to try and understand what's happening in our region uh, where the future jobs will be um, because we have a sense that, that, that if, if the region can't provide the skills to resource growing industries, those jobs will be filled by someone else. So we believe that um, Sunny TAFE has a duty to understand where those skills gaps are and make the training available to local people so that we can ensure that local people are filling those jobs. Mm. And of course, it's been very much enhanced with the free TAFE courses which you're able to offer. Absolutely, the free, free TAFE course has been a fantastic initiative um, uh, you know, of the current Victorian government. Um, and we've seen uh, um, in this year, in the current year, um, something like 40% growth in the courses that have been offered for free. Um, I, I think the other good, going hand in hand with the free free offering is that the courses that have been selected as free are actually very relevant to our region as well. So, so you've got that beautiful combination of courses that will lead to employment in this region, but they're also free now to study. So, so that's really providing an incentive for people to participate. Mm -hmm. Of course, international students feature at Sunny Tafe, particularly some Chinese uh, who yep. I met recently, uh, who are teachers, in fact, from uh, China, are learning Western cookery techniques and um, pastries in particular. Absolutely. Um, so, so, um, so, so there's a couple of things there. International students are extremely important to Sunny Tafe, um, and we think they bring a, a fantastic diversity into our region as well. I know it certainly enhances our campus having um, having our uh, local students having the opportunity to engage with people from you know another part of the world. Um, the current process with the teachers that you met, um, you know, we've had a long history of delivering uh, training to Chinese students here in Mildura, uh, but we are also now discussing an opportunity to partner with um, an institute in China where some of our staff will actually go and deliver and, and uh, train on their institute and uh, will arrive at some sort of dual qualification. So, so it is really about sharing knowledge um, and building relationships with institutes in other parts of the world. Yeah, it's excellent. Well, Jeff, thanks so much for coming in today. We must catch up with you uh, more often and uh, find out what's happening at Sunny Tafe. Thanks, John. We'd love to love to talk to you all the time. Thank you. And be sure to get all your news at mildurraweekly.com.au.